Hey guys, it's Brit, and today I have a very special video. This is my top 10 list of favorite franchise authors. And in order to do this, this is a giant collaboration between uh, that was created by Steve over at the Lawn Gnome. I'll link his video up here. And a bunch of other fellow booktubers slash YouTubers who... Uh, have joined us for this collaboration, and I will link their channels and videos as they appear in the description below. But my top ten is uh, was hard to narrow down, be and is mostly based off of nostalgia and kind of why. I am the reader I am today. So while a lot of these authors are not technically what you would call quote-unquote good, uh, they are authors who are very near and dear to my heart. Of course, there are exceptions, but um, without further ado, here is my top ten list. And starting off at number one, we, of course, have have Maggie Steve Otter. I put my book down and now I don't remember where I put it. But Maggie Steve Otter, of course, if you have followed this channel for any length of time, and this is just my Kindle Eat Reader, uh, it's not the cover, but uh, this is how I read most of my books. So Maggie Steve Otter is a an author who is very near and dear to my heart, and she wrote my favorite series of all time, The Raven Cycle, and I love that series. I love it so much, and that's why it's number one. The next book will also come as no surprise, or author, I should say, and that is Mr. George R. R. Martin, of course. He created the A Song of Ice and Fire series, and the first book in the series is A Game of Thrones, which inspired the HBO television spin-off of the Song of Ice and Fire series. Okay. Number three is Alex Garland, and he is very well known for his 28 Days Later um, franchise. He also wrote the screenplay for Ex Machina, but that is not why he's on this video. I picked Alex Garland because The Beach by Alex Garland is one of my favorite books of all time. I love this book. I love this book so much. I wish I had this cover in hardcover. This is the UK edition, but um, it's only available in mass market paperback in this cover. But it's a retelling of Lord of the Flies with stoners, and it's it's wonderful, and I love it. And... Alex Garland has never disappointed me when I read his books. He also has Tesseract and Coma, which is, um, Tesseract is kind of hard to summarize, but the Coma is about a man named Carl who is in a coma, and he wakes up, and he's still not sure if He's in a coma, or not, and it's a great book. Number four is Suzanne Collins, who is, of course, popular for the Hunger Games series. And it's a very popular YA series about uh, a girl named Katniss Everdeen who is forced to participate in an event called the Hunger Games, and it basically they take children and uh, young teenagers and throw them into a pit, and they have to kill each other for 
uh, the entertainment of other people. And it's really messed up, but that's that, that was one of the series that came out while I was in high school. And uh, it really got me back into reading. So that series, while highly flawed, is... There's there's something about it that I love. Like there there's just something about the Hunger Games that that draws me to it. Number five, another young adult series that um, people often complain about, but number five is the Maze Runner series by James Dashner, and James Dashner is really well known for his. Maze Runner series. Uh, he's written a few others, but I haven't read them as of yet. I have plans to read them, but uh, James Dashner is the reason I'm here on BookTube today. And um, he, he got me back into reading when I fell in love with The Maze Runner. And I, the, during my early college years, I didn't read. So that book is the reason, that series, is the entire reason why I'm on here today. So even if you don't like The Maze Runner, uh, thank Mr. Dashner, because I wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for him. So uh, number six, I will attempt to do this in an American accent, and if I can't, I apologize. I'll do it both ways. Um, Hiromu Arakawa, or Hiromu Arakawa, who is most famous for her manga series, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, or Hagaren, or Hagane no Renkin Shi. And uh, if, if you read the Japanese version, uh, Hagane no Renkin Shi is uh, one of her more, her first series about a boy, uh, a, a brother duo who attempt to resurrect their dead mother with alchemy and there, there, there's some severe consequences. I'm sure if, if, I, I'm sure that, that you guys are well aware of what the Full Metal Alchemist is. Uh, okay, number seven. John Jackson Miller. And much like Steve, I love the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And John Jackson Miller came into my life via my favorite character in Star Wars, which is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And he wrote the, no the novel <laughs> Kenobi that takes place in between episodes three and four. And essentially, it's Obi-Wan's life as a hermit on Tatooine. And I love it. And he has since written a few other series like the Star Wars Rebels. Uh, what, what is it called? New Dawn? I think it's called the one featuring Hera and Kanan from Star Wars Rebels. Kind of like their origin story. And it was really, really fun. Number eight is an author that is relatively new to me, but I have to thank Sam over at Sam's Nonsense for introducing me to this author. It is Robin Hobb. I have fallen in love with Robin Hobb. I am currently reading the Farseer trilogy, and I love it. And I just, I am very attached to Fitz and this world, and I cannot wait to, uh, to continue reading all of her work, because apparently I have to in order to read, like, the, the, the last book, the most recent book that she has written. So, I am so excited. Number nine is Neil Gaiman, and I had 
complicated feelings when it comes to Mr. Gaiman because uh, Neil Neil is kind of I I enjoy Neil's stories. I do. I enjoy his characters. I enjoy their plots. But I also acknowledge that he's technically not the best writer, but uh, one of my favorite books by him is The Graveyard Book, which is a retelling of The Jungle Book, and it's about a boy named Nobody Owens, and he is raised by ghosts and and a vampire and and a werewolf and it's just it's wonderful and i love it i also really love the ocean at the end of the lane and every october for the past like four or five years i always 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 have to read Coraline. like it is a must so of course i had to include neil on this list and finally number 10 which is carolyn keen who is most famous for her nancy drew slash hardy boys series and while it's been a very long time since i have read a nancy drew novel i have so many pleasant memories of sitting with my grandma and she would read these books out loud to me as a child and um I'm fortunate enough to still have my grandma around with me at the current time and I just my grandma is the one that made me a reader and I have so much love for the Nancy Drew series because I have so many pleasant memories of just listening to my grandmother read these books out loud. And I, I, you know what? Next time I go see my grandma, I'm going to bring her an Nancy Drew book and we're going to sit and we're going to, we're going to read an Nancy Drew book together. And, um, yeah, that's my list and go check out everybody else. And until next time, guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know your top ten, and love you guys. Bye.